Tonaline, 150. 150. 150. The 2013 has 100,000 miles on it. And I, it was a passenger van for a assisted living facility. I bought it at an auction, ripped Christina. everything out, mm -hmm. and just started creating. That's amazing. What's your name? Deborah. Deborah. We just met here at our uh, quartzite, uh, bat, uh, quartzite fireplace. <laughs> This is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. Oh my gosh, and you did all this yourself? Yeah. Okay, it started with nothing. It was just a passenger van with rows of seats. Oh my gosh. I took everything out. This is for the beverages. This is my ice chest. Oh, yeah. And then my 12 volt fridge. Yeah. It's too small. Next time I'm going to get a bigger one. Uh huh. And you did all of this, you put in those walls. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh. And I'm you a, built the cabinet. My kitchen. Uh huh. And this is my water system. This is just a jerry can. It holds what? Six gallons, something mm -hmm. like that. And then that's my gray water. It just goes down from the sink. Mm -hmm. And I can pull it out and dump it. All right. You got a faucet up there. This is my stove. Wow. Two burner. That's just to have extra counter space of when I course. want it. It also fits over here. All right. So if I want to, I can just take it and move it there after right. I get so everything out. you have a out. table there. I love the divider. Yeah. That protects you too if anything wanted to move. If anything wanted to fly forward. This is my porta potty. It was important to me because at our age we have to go to the bathroom 700 times a night. I built this. Mm -hmm. And this is my little cassette toilet. Right, that means she has a, a unit to empty on occasion. It, about every four or five days. This is my little table that I made and it is modular. Folds down. And then I store it right over here. Had you built things before? Or, no. No? Never. <gasps> you, you, did you watch a lot of YouTube videos? <laughs> a billion. A billion. You've got a lot of forest space there. I mean, I think this is fun. I like the design of it. Uh-huh. I saw that on an expensive van. You know those $100,000 vans that are beautiful but we can't afford? Yes, yes. I saw a video and I thought, I can make that. Uh -huh. And then I also got the inspiration for this from that same video. Uh-huh. This is my go bag. For showers and so on. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's got everything I need. And what's in, it. in that cute little cabinet there? And not a lot. I mean, I have my. This is my five, five pound propane tank mm -hmm. that, for my stove. And this is my Blue Eddy. Blue Eddy. What size? It's a 800 watt. Uh -huh. Too small. I have to get a bigger one. Yeah. And I only have 100 um, watts of solar. Need to go up to like two or four. Mm -hmm. If I was going to be full time, I'd go four. Right. But for for part time, it works. And I put in the track lighting. Hmm. Nice. And these are rechargeable. They just come right down. I can make it brighter. You know. Oh, nice! Well, just, it really lights it up. Yeah, it does. That's nice. Oh, that's this is cool. where I keep all my food. Uh huh. Under here is where I keep all my clothing. And of course, you built this bed. That's two weeks worth of clothes. Uh -huh. No problem. This fits right in there. Over here, just more stuff. And um, this is my little stove. Well, that's my cooking stove. This oh, is right, my, right. That, that up here with the uh, countertop is, on it. This is my outside stove. Or at night, if I get cold, I just set it here and turn it on and it warms everything. This no. place is insulated. Yes, and you probably did some of that insulating, didn't you? I did you? all of the insulation. Yeah, and look at that ceiling. That's Thank beautiful. You. It's uh, cedar. And the, the bed's real comfortable. This right here is, I got a mattress topper and then I cut it to this shape. It's two inches thick. Then I put this cover on it mm -hmm. and it snaps up here. Great insulation for uh -huh. the back of the van that's hard to insulate. And then during the day, I just roll it up. I, I keep my comforter. I'm actually gonna do a design modification. Underneath here, this board, I'm gonna cut it 
right about here, mm -hmm. and I'll make it so that it can go up. And right, so you can have an actual couch I'll that makes into couch, a bed. And then I can store this behind it. Right. Genius. 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 They come off. And it's lightweight. Yes. And these are, these are uh, French cleats. But I love it because I can take them off, I can take them off and put them on. I'm going to build another one for right I built these. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'm going to yeah. build another one for here. Of course, that would be great. And what I did is I built this, this is a thermal curtain. Mm -hmm. And I put it on a track. So it goes all the way around to the front and then I just snap it closed and it keeps it warm. Mm -hmm. And you unleash it and just uh, pull it on around like you would a curtain or a shower curtain. There you go. And they, they slide real easy. Uh huh. And then. Well, I tell you, for as dark as it is outside, as you can see, the sun is setting here, another beautiful Arizona desert sunset. But you've got it really light, light enough to actually film in here. I got a Road Pro fan. Mm -hmm. And I bolted it to the top. Right, to the ceiling. And I got a little, I got this little power pack right here. Okay. This fan will go for hours. For hours. Just on this. So. Right, so you've got really good circulation. Yeah. I had an SUV before I had this. And then I had a friend who said, when are you going to get that van? And I was like, I, you know, I don't feel like I can afford it. I knew. And she said, Honey, you're not going to get any younger. If you want to yeah. do it, just do it. Good for and you. So she convinced me, and so I got that job at Home Depot, and I worked for two years. One year paid for the van, and the second year paid for the interior. If they had lumber that they were going to mark down, uh huh, you're then, right there. Yeah, or insulation that had a little little gouge in it, mm -hmm. so they couldn't sell it. Mm -hmm. but there's nothing wrong with it. So they really were very, very, very helpful. That's amazing, yeah. And you I were in the it, right place. <laughs> I call it my Home Depot mobile. Yeah, that and Amazon, of course. <laughs> yeah, and Amazon, of course. After my kids were all gone, and it was just me, I, I just, I felt like I wanted to reconnect with nature and get outdoors and, and do all of that. And I think there's a movement of older women. I mean, I'm seeing it tonight as we sit around the campfire and share and talk yeah. and enjoy. And that sisterhood is just precious. It really is a new women's movement because a lot of us, you're the same age as me, I think. 73. 73, me too. I lived in Rapid City, South Dakota, which is right next to Sturgis in the 70s. And uh, the early 70s, as a matter of fact. And, and we went to that a couple of years there. And those young men on those fancy bikes are now old men, my age, you know, in all these years. And they're still riding those bikes. Oh, yeah. And I kind of think of them, they're our generation. And I think of them as kind of the cowboys on the horses out. And they're riding out west. They're riding the roads like we are. And we come along in our Conestoga wagons. <laughs> <laughs> so our generation has got it. the gypsies, don't we? We really you know, do. Uh, it's the van life didn't just start with YouTube no no, no. Did. Yeah. so how long have you had this completed now this is my first road trip all right it's been completed for a couple of months but uh -huh. I've been doing little improved Tweaking. improvements as my woodworking skills get better mm -hmm. I redo things that I already built well you learned as you went on the job training <laughs> on the job training <laughs> I am amazed uh, it's just beautiful, so cozy. You've got a lot of room in here. My goodness, your I floor do. space is just wonderful. Yeah. And you've done a beautiful job. Thank you. So fun to meet you. You I, too. Like I say, I've, I've followed your uh, channel religiously. Oh. And you're always so kind. You're always, you always comment. You always... Yeah, I think I probably answered your comment with a, a little blurb about the Facebook page. I do notice a lot of women that are yearning to do this. I'm not out here to convince anybody to do it, but when I hear a woman in the comments that's saying, you know, they're, all, they're in the process or they're dreaming about doing it or this, that, or the other, I'll send them a link to our women only Facebook page where people, women are really comfortable talking about whatever they need to. You sent it to me. Yeah, I, yeah, and you joined our, our Facebook page, and, and I think it's just that, that Facebook page is really 
uh, I don't need it to grow really fast. I just need the people who need to be there to be on that Facebook yeah. page. People that are dreaming or already doing it and sharing our wisdom because we learn from people that are brand new too. <laughs> sure. Well, I, I think the biggest thing, you know, a lot of people say they're afraid. Yeah. I'm not one of those people. I'm kind of fearless. Mm -hmm. So I don't feel that, but I, under, I, I understand. And so to have that safety net of that friendship, mm -hmm. um, you, you make friends, you, you exchange information. If I'm sitting here by myself and I'm a little scared or lonely, I can text somebody that I met who I've become friends with and they can reassure me or maybe they've been there before. Or join you. And it's just the sisterhood. It's just mm -hmm. really cool. Well, thanks for letting me share my van with you. Oh, I love your van. Do you have a name for your van? I'm sorry? Do you have a name for your van? I don't. I'm open to suggestions. Uh -huh. So put in the comments, please, uh, suggestions <laughs> for the name of this beautiful van. And if, you, and if you get a good one, you let me know. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm you're open. welcome to come and look at the comments and, and answer people's questions and so forth, because they're going to be absolutely thrilled that you did this all by yourself. Did you have help? Pardon? Did you have some help with Zero. this? Zero. Zero. Oh my gosh, now I'm really impressed. 100% me. Okay, ladies, that's that's an inspiration for you. From a dollars and cents perspective mm -hmm. and from the work. I, yeah. I, I earned the money, I paid for it. I earned the money to do the conversion and I did the conversion. Mm. And it's one of the hardest things I've ever done, but also absolutely one of the most rewarding. I bet. I'd do it again. Mistakes and all. <laughs> <laughs> of course you would. And there are ways to do it that you don't have to be intimidated. You know, people see these... $80,000 sprinters and they think, oh my God, well, you, you don't have to do that, mm -mm. you know? Like, I don't have an electrical system. I have this and plugs are hanging. Plug everywhere. and play. <laughs> it works. Yes. That's the main thing. Cozy, comfortable, and beautiful. You're going to get a lot of nice compliments on this, I think. Thank you. Yeah. I'm very proud of it. I appreciate that.